It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see which conference reigns supreme today. Hope you're all ready for this one on Monday night. The EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the so-called Silicon Valley and Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, and Charles kickoff moments away. Quickly, what are you watching in this one? The offensive line for both teams, because both teams have a terrific pass rush. They've got to keep their passers upright. If they have a chance to do that, they can both thrive on offense and move the ball downfield. Here's a punter, Thomas Morstead, to get this one started. And we are underway from Santa Clara. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The 49ers get ready to go on offense, and it's the Pro Bowler Brock Purdy at the helm in his third NFL season now out of Iowa State. And the great story of Brock Purdy continues. Had he been drafted in the first round, I think people would be singing his praises to the skies, but for whatever reason, people can't let go of the fact he's Mr. Irrelevant and they don't give him the credit he deserves. He is not just a system quarterback. He's a guy who enhances his team. Not just along for the ride, he's the one steering the ship. And without him, their ceiling significantly drops. Purdy going to the air right away. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A good start. One play, 10 yards. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Again to the big tight end, George Kittle. Uh, he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second and a yard. They'll bring the tight end in motion right here. They go play action here, Purdy. And that falls to the ground incomplete. Well, a nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Well, that's absolutely going to fire this defense up. They made it their mission to deny that completion. And they came through with a nice hit and knocked it incomplete. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Purdy sets up to throw again. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Well, that's one way and a good way to get things going offensively. One play in, and they're already on the move. The defense, they're hoping that's not a sign of things to come as this game unfolds. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Purdy now to throw. He'll get this into the hands of Ayuk. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. From the 42-yard line, here's second down and seven. Again, it's Purdy to throw it. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. And how about this first drive? They're being aggressive, slinging it around. Really confident, too, because they're not trying to fool them with running plays throwing it and they're being very successful right now it's been a seven play opening drive and this is third and short they'll bring the tight end in motion right 
Purdy from the gun on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 25-yard line. And we're going to stop play here, at least momentarily. It looks like there is a 49er who's in some discomfort. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. looking to throw a quick throw there is incomplete and their backs up against the wall a little bit and they come through by forcing an incompletion now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage an incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25 back to throw Purdy Open man is Samuel, complete. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And so far, a very nice, methodical opening drive. This has the feel of a scripted drive that they rehearsed perfectly all week long, and now they're executing it on game day. Script looks good so far. So play number 10 now coming. It's been a long opening drive, but this is third down. The tight end in motion right. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. And to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have the Niners first down. And he was able to get it by play. A gain of eight on third and three. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and ten from the ten. First carry for Christian McCaffrey. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Christian McCaffrey, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Niners will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play and actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on his stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. Moody good with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. So that one a long 11-play drive. And the last play on the drive, the touchdown run from Christian McCaffrey. So after the main field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. Fighting his way through contact. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. So here come the Jets to take over. Led at quarterback by a man back to full health in season number 20 now and his second one in New York, and that's Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> I can't help. But chuckle as we look at last year's stats for Aaron Rodgers. Zero for one, no touchdowns, no interceptions. I can't believe that we're looking at a stat line like that. But remember, he only played four plays. The Jets know that will not be a stat line for this year. And they can't wait to see the old numbers replace the ones you're seeing there. First carry for the Iowa State man, Brees Hall. Yeah, he's able to push his way forward somehow for a gain of about two yards. Second down now. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Ball again on second down. They juked him. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 
10 yards is the pickup. Good enough for a Jet first down. And it didn't take long for all to remind everyone just how special a player he is. He told him nearly 1,600 yards from scrimmage a season ago. And he appears to be picking up right where he left off as he moves the chains for this offense. On first and 10, it's Hall. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. Ball again. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. Throwing now is Rodgers. Got a man. It's the rookie out of the third round. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 36. The end result, 21 yards. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 36. Now Rodgers. Wide open receiver complete. Touchdown Jets. A great play there. 36 yards. And the Jets are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. Great corner route there. Not only able to catch it, turn it upfield, and get into the end zone. It usually involves a little bit of an extra move, doesn't it? You've got to get them thinking that you're moving to the middle of the field and you're breaking away to that corner. Boy, that was well executed. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. And his play caller does a nice job of giving him an easy throw to start this drive, and he takes advantage of it. The completion sets up a manageable second down. Just need a yard here, second and one. Now Purdy. Back to Debo Samuel for consecutive catches. And Debo going to have a Niners first down as he'll get this across the 50 to the 49. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. And Samuel gets him a first down, which matches his New Jersey number and continues to be a Swiss Army knife for a loaded Niners offense. He had over 1,100 yards from scrimmage and 12 touchdowns a season ago, and he appears destined to have another big year. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, 
You're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. In motion left here, one of their tight ends. Connects with Kittle underneath. And Kittle going to have a 49ers first down as the tackle made down at the 33. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get an advantage that way. Birdie. The same target, same result. It's Kittle. It'll go as a gain of four, and it's second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Now a second and six. In motion left goes a tight end. Play action. Now Purdy looking for the crossing receiver. He's got him. It's Samuel. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going, and right now it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. Throwing here, Purdy. Throw left side, McCaffrey's got it. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Here's Purdy. And he hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Ronnie Bell from three yards out. And the 49ers have now taken the lead. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Now Moody for the PAT. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And the end result for the 49ers, a touchdown. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And bulldozing his way through. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 
Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. Here's Rodgers. And check down, complete to Hall. And it fights through one there. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. It'll be a gain of five, and that's going to bring up second down. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. They're able to complete this one to Tyler Conklin. It's the first time that they've looked his way tonight, and he comes up with a first down on the play. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. The Jets with the football here to start the second quarter as they've got it with a first and ten. And again, it's Rodgers. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. From the 38 now, here's a second down and four. Out of the gun, they run it with Hall. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. Give him 12 yards there, and the Jets have a first. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurdling through them. Now whistles come in before the snap. Looked like one of the Jets may have moved. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. A false start backs him up five. First and 15. Shotgun now for Rodgers. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. So five yards here, five on the play. And that will bring up second down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Second and ten. Ball on a give up the middle. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Now Rodgers. And he is caught, and they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A very important third down conversion right there because when you're trailing and find yourself this deep in enemy territory, the kicker's not even part of your thought process. You got to make it pay off with six. Nice connection right there to set up first and goal. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Now he's got it. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. And there wasn't much room for the big tight end to do much after the catch. But at least he was able to pick up a solid gain to help his offense continue to move in the right direction. Second and goal from the one. To throw is Rodgers. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catch in the football, but let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. 
About a half yard from the end zone, third and goal. Rodgers again now. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Aaron Rodgers. It's a one-yard touchdown run. And the Jets are an extra point away from evening this one up. They were looking to pass the ball there, but they forgot to account for the man with the football. Yeah, I can hear people right now saying, well, why don't you have a spy in your defense, someone who will dance with him and go where he goes? Well, oftentimes, if you utilize a spy, you've taken away someone in coverage as well. And oftentimes, the spy, not as athletic as the guy he's trying to keep up with, so he gets defeated anyway. And he turns third and goal into a touchdown. Zerline connects on the extra point, and we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And running with power here. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. What an intelligent play as he found open grass and uncovered quickly. A nice clutch play to move the chains. The defense, they've got to do a much better job of accounting for these shorter routes. On first down, this is McCaffrey. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Here's second and seven. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And he's going to get this down close to a first at about the Jets' 36. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Purdy now to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is out but not before he's inside the 30. They only needed one yard on third down. They get 10 instead by going to the air. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. Purdy will set up to throw it here. That's complete to the tight end, Sauber. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. 
Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. They go play action here, Purdy. That'll be caught by Ayu. Touchdown, 49ers. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the 49ers have moved down in front. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now absolute dominance throughout this ball game and no signs of slowing down and now before we get to the extra point remember all touchdowns do have to be confirmed by the replay official they're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds and obviously a big call here in the end zone and not just the feet how about the hands how's the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds. That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. The extra point try now for Moody. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. So that drives seven plays in length. And it was Brandon Ayuk capping it off with a touchdown reception. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. And New York set to take the field. They'll look for a drive to tie this up down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. Shotgun now for Rodgers. He completes that to Garrett Wilson. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here, and what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. From the 35, back to work on second and four. Now Wilson's come in before the snap. Looked like one of the Jets may have moved. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. The false start hurts him there a bit. Backs him up to second and nine. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Going right back to Wilson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 10 yards is the pickup, good enough for a Jet first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there, keeps the sticks moving. Rodgers going to throw. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. They find some open field here. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? Well, so often now we're praising tight ends for their nimbleness and how they catch the ball downfield. But occasionally we get a reminder that tight ends, they've got that tough guy aspect too. How about him catching that short one there, shaking off tacklers and turning that into an expansive gain downfield.
So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 as they're down to the 29-yard line. Straight ahead is Hall. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That whole thing was thrown off track thanks to the defense of Fred Warner. Really nice play. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Paul again on second down. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 47 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. That's how you get right up off of the map because on the last play, they stoned him in the backfield and dropped him for a loss. But he's the type of guy that scared me a little bit because he's not daunted. Just got right back up, showed some confidence, and picked up a first down with his very next run. They'll go again with Hall. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Talanoa Hufanga in on the stop. So nothing there that time, and maybe you need to look to the O-line. They weren't able to create any space. No, they weren't, and you know as well as I do, as many offensive line coaches as we've ever met, I think that'll be addressed loudly when those guys get to the sideline. And they're usually loud and big. <laughs> and he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Brees Hall. A 13-yard touchdown run. And the Jets are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone, I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass, let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground, and he'll take it all the way into the end zone. Now Zerline on to add the extra point. He's got it, and we're all tied at 21. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it was capped off by a Brees Hall touchdown run. Couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kicks away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Now we are hitting the home stretch here toward halftime, and to this point, this has been an exciting... Nowhere to go here. He lost the football, and it's scooped up by the Jets. And a costly turnover there as the ball will be spotted first and goal at the five-yard line. The pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot, but a QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't he? He really does, and I know of one team at one point was training their quarterback with that time frame. And anytime he didn't get rid of the ball within the, the right amount of time, they would blow a horn or blow a whistle to show him this is what that time is, just what you're talking about, training him to understand this is the amount you have, make sure the ball's gone. Didn't happen in this case. The defense gets him the ball via the turnover. Now can this offense cash in? First and goal. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Rodgers. This is caught. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball in the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Second and goal from the one. Rodgers now to throw. Touchdown! Jared Wilson. A one-yard touchdown reception. And the Jets have moved out in front. 
These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Mm -hmm. Today is track shoes, because that's what we've seen with these offenses. <laughs> yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far, and fun to watch. Zerline good with a PAT, and they will take a seven-point lead. They have the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Purdy looking to throw. That's complete out left to Ayu. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. The 49ers now gonna use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Back to throw, Purdy. He's got Ayuk once again. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch at its second down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Now second and five. Purdy. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. Well, he left no doubt about that one because even though he hasn't left the pocket, he's got a receiver in the area, so it's not grounding even though there is no way that ball was going to be caught. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion left. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. Over the middle, that's complete to McCaffrey. Flash the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stop short of the 35. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll bring up second down. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. And that is no good. But a flag is down here, so hold on. Let's see what this is about. Okay, so the personal foul penalty 
And those are some important yards lost right there. Yeah, it all comes down to discipline, doesn't it? And every team tells us that they coach it, they preach it. In this case, it slipped a little bit. And his kick is right there. It's good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Here's Jonathan Coachman. We were treated to a solid first half out of the running back, Brees Hall. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The Jets offense and Aaron Rodgers getting set for their next drive. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. They have played so strongly. You look at the scoreboard, you, you probably, with the way they played, you would think the margin would be a lot bigger, right? You would. And in your experience, how many times have we run into coaches where they've talked about, hey, we just want to put it in the hands of our defense and have them win the game? In this case, yeah, not the case. Not at all. You want to put it in the hands of your offense, but you always feel better about seeing defense because you think defense is a constant and offense kind of comes and goes. Today, <laughs> this game, no, they need their offense to stay on a really hot level. They've been hot so far. And his throw is incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step down, field of man coverage, and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Here's second and ten. Throwing now is Rodgers. He dumps this one off here to Hall. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. I know it was a game, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling. Held it to Rodgers is going to go down. He's sacked. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. To me, the defense was looking a little gassed near the end of the first half, but they've come out of the locker room with a little extra spring in their step. Wonder what they did at halftime to get them so motivated. I don't know, but that sack looked good. Now let's see if they can build on the momentum of that play. Here's Thomas Morstead now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this one sails out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25. It will. 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? 
beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Purdy from the gun. That ball caught. Brandon Ayuk. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 22 yards there, a first down. But well, one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. They'll motion the tight end across the formation. And throwing here, Purdy connects with Kittle underneath. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. I like how they worked the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from me a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. Now Purdy. Throw it inside. McCaffrey's got it. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. He felt the pressure coming there. That was a good job of just making something out of nothing, so to speak. Yeah, took the hit and still made the play. You know, when we talk about runners, all right, and on running plays, runs after contact we call that getting dirty yards tough gritty ones to me that's like the version of a dirty pass he knows he's going to get smacked yet still delivers the football and picks up good yardage but he gets this one inside the 15 just a yard or two shy of the 10. that one covers 24 yards it's a first down Here's Purdy. Complete to the tight end, Kittle, over the middle of the field. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender, but the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Second down, ball on the three. First down marker at the one-yard line. Purdy bootlegging it. Rolling to his right. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. Jermaine Johnson, he's the culprit, dropping him for a two-yard loss. By well, that time, it looked like he essentially just ran right into the pass rush. Yeah, partner, I'm not much of an outdoorsman, but the fish jumped right into the net, didn't he? Because you've got to make sure that you're deep enough that you can get around the defensive end, have an angle there. But he couldn't do it because he actually cut that one off Really nice play coming off the edge. Looking to throw. Purdy. Touchdown 49ers. George Kittle from six yards away. And the 49ers have retaken a third quarter lead. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. Now Moody for the PAT. And that one gives him a three-point lead. So that drive in total eight plays. And it all ends with a George Kittle touchdown.
So after the main field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. Time for another drive here for this Jets offense. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at the 34. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Able to hook up with Williams here on the out route. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. He's going to float this one deep right side. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown, Jets. Brees Hall. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Jets have taken the lead here in this third quarter. Well, he's used to running it that distance. Here, he had to catch it, too, before making the run. Heck of a play for the score. There's not many things better for an offense than a back who is a complete guy who can run it and catch it. And we just saw him complete a big-time play for a touchdown. Zerline now for the PAT. And that will make this a four-point game. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. With 49ers ready to set up shop again offensively. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, You've almost got to get down into those starters blocks like you're a sprinter, get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the passer. Easier said than done, though. Way easier <laughs> said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting him to shreds. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways They've gotten their receivers open so far. It's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. Purdy now to throw. He'll get this into the hands of Ayu. Showed that brute strength, but he'll still be stopped shy of midfield. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Purdy will set up to throw it here. He'll get this underneath to McCaffrey. Call it a gain of six on the play, and they'll be faced with a third and in inches. In motion right, one of the tight ends. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And the pressure gets to McCaffrey as they stop him short of the line to gain. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. 
And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. No return, but it goes down as just a punt of 31 yards. And the Jets offense will be backed up to start this drive as they've got it first and 10. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Throw left side complete. That's Hall. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards picking up the first. But they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game. And there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it. And no adjustment has been made to take it away. Here's a quick throw out to Wilson. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Here's Rodgers to throw. Going right back to Wilson. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Well, there wasn't much there with that hitch route. They didn't gain what they expected. But sometimes when you call a hitch, you really don't have an alternate to go to. You don't have a second route to throw it to. So sometimes you have to rifle in there and hope for the best. Rodgers again now. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. A handoff for Hall. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Down to the 10. Touchdown. Four touchdown passes now for Aaron Rodgers. And the Jets are able to widen their advantage. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Now Zerline on to add the extra point. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. Five plays there on that drive. And it ends with a Jet touchdown. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line.
The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. The linebacker, C.J. Mosley, in on the stop. Well, they certainly got dented with that first down run. So now they've got to be back on their heels a little bit as a defense. Final minute now of the third quarter. Purdy looking to throw. Out to his left. A good decision in the end. The pull and run gets him nine yards in the first. He's been patient this entire game, waiting for the perfect moment to surprise him with a quarterback keeper. There he catches him off guard and converts his first rush of the game into a first down. Gotta love that efficiency. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Operating from the gun, Purdy. He's going to drop this down to McCaffrey. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's 49er football, but some ground to cover. They find themselves behind as we hit the fourth and final quarter. Back to throw, Purdy. Hitting Samuel on the slam. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. That'll give him 60 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. And the throw and the catch were just fine, but again, zone coverage when you run a drag route, what you're hoping for is he makes the catch and makes someone miss, and they don't there. Very difficult route to run when everyone has their eyes back towards the quarterback and they're able to see the route develop. Purdy now to throw off the play action. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Hassan Reddick, his second sack of the night. Impressive individual effort there. No one was going to stop him around the edge. Yeah, no doubt about it. And that's why if you play in a 4-3 base and you're a defensive end, that's why you get the big bucks. They count on you to do everything. Defend the run and, of course, get to the quarterback. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Purdy. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Going for the knockout blow right there. I think if I'm up two scores... I'd be worried about an interception, but playing this way is what got them this lead. So you may as well ride it out to the end. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Shotgun now with Purdy. And that is incomplete. Give him big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. 
Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. The stop for no gain brings up second and 10 from the 20. To throw, it's Rodgers. Throwing the out route and complete. That's Williams. Five yards, now it's third and five. Rodgers now to throw. Oh, and that is incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. And here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. Call that a 45-yard punt, just two yards there on the return. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. Well, this defense just has not been able to keep him under wraps. That's now 10 catches for him in the ball game. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. We'll put that one in the win column for the defense. Trying to contain tight ends in the passing game is so difficult nowadays, but they did in a big way there. Now whistles here, and I think one of the big boys for the 49ers might have jumped. Now they nab the rookie there for the five-yard penalty. So much going through his head. You know it just has to be, right? All of his assignments and realizing every game he plays, one of the better players in the league will be opposite him. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. That's over the middle and caught by Ayuk. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit on six of their eight tries. Very good. This is third and seven. They go play action here. Purdy, that is caught. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. And they'll send the tight end in motion. Again, it's Purdy to throw it. Back to Debo Samuel for consecutive catches. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11. First down. You cannot write these guys off just yet. Not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Room to maneuver at the 35. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 19 yards there on the catch and run. And it's a real luxury when you have a guy who can turn a short throw into a solid gain at any moment. Once he caught that ball, he ID'd where the open grass was and got there in a hurry to pick up a new set of downs for his offense. Here's Purdy. Over the middle, that's complete to McCaffrey. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 
They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down. It will. What a drive this has been. Just chewing up the yardage, and here's one of their best plays yet as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six. Purdy sets up to throw again. That is caught at the seven-yard line. Touchdown, 49ers. George Kittle, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the 49ers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So they get their tight end away from the line to the outside, and he works his way in for six. Tight ends are not just blockers anymore. I don't know how many more times we need examples, but here's a great one. Gets to the outside, they give him the ball pretty quickly, and they trust him to get those extra yards, and boy, did he come through, bowling his way into the end zone after the nice catch. Purdy will throw for it. And he will get into the end zone as a two-point conversion is successful. And the lead is down to a field goal here in the fourth. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. And New York set to take the field. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. Rodgers going to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hall. So the completion good for seven there. And it's second down. A give running right is Hall. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. And this is the worry because sometimes you can get a little too predictable in spots like this. You know you're going to run the ball, but they know you're going to run the ball as well. And now you look up and you're staring at an important third down. Two yards still to go. Third down now. They'll run with Hall. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. And obviously, they want that run yardage, so they decline the penalty. They had no doubt about it. Smart on their part. They finished off the play. But if you're going to jump, if you're going to commit a penalty, it's your job to finish off the play so you don't give up big gains like that. That's complete right side to Lazard. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. Here's Rodgers. That is caught. It's Williams. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. He's up to 88 yards receiving in the ballgame now, and he's got a first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. <laughs> Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. 
So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 down at the 31. On play action, it's Rodgers. This pass complete, he finds Jeremy Rucker. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that's going to bring up second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on, catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. Here's Rodgers to throw. Got his man. It's Williams. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. That'll put him right at 99 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Working from the gun, Rodgers. That is caught at the seven-yard line. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Jumpy on the right side of the line. Sometimes when you're on the end, a little bit farther away from the ball, any type of movement will get you to jump, and that's exactly what happened there. Here's a give to Hall, and he is in! Touchdown, New York! Brees Hall, a three-yard touchdown run, and the Jets are able to build on to their fourth-quarter lead. And that right there is the definition of a statement drive. You're in the fourth quarter, trying to get to the finish line, and here, they were able to hold the ball for a long time and move it down the field. And how about them finishing it off with the touchdown run? Winning football 101, check that box. Zerline now for the PAT. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. That time, a nine-play drive. And it was capped off by a Brees Hall touchdown run. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Out on the field now, here come the 49ers. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10, just shy of the 30. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's Samuel, caught left side, and brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. And a good start there on first down. They've got to have this drive. No doubt about it. Down a couple of scores. They have to find a way to put it in the end zone. Chunk plays, explosive plays. That will be the key to this drive. Purdy looking to throw. Winds up and lets it go for Samuel. And it's complete. In the end zone. Touchdown 49ers. Debo Samuel. 55 yards and the 49ers have got it back to within a score no we're not cheering no we're not rooting but i am excited about this i know you are too we got a ball game again after that big time strike big time strike and you are right don't go anywhere yet this thing's not done the extra point try now for moody and the lead is down to a field goal now 
Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. I don't want to say that they're completely against the wall here, Charles, but all of a sudden, over the run that they've been on on the other sideline, this is down to a three-point game. they got to be careful. Not much space from their back to the wall, though. So you're True. exactly right. They've got to be careful here. But this is where the value of note-taking and recall comes into play. What was working earlier? Why was it working? Can you get those types of matchups again? And can you run those plays that get you a little bit more breathing room and a little bit of space. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Here's Hall again. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. And right side, they're going to go option here. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Well, I would have figured up to the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was. And now it's third down. Third down, here's Hall. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game against them, but tally that one on the side of the defense. Do you think maybe, possibly, it could be a little bit of a changer for them? Maybe not a game changer, but a little bit of a momentum one that maybe they can string together some pretty good plays and slow them down. They're going to line up to go for this on fourth down. Rodgers stays on the field. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. And this one is incomplete. The Jets try it, but the fourth down play doesn't work. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. Here's first and ten. 
Here's Purdy. And that one to the right side and incomplete. They'll come up now on second down. Here's Purdy to throw. And that one too wide and incomplete. And let's face it, this defense has had its share of struggles all game long, and they know that they can put it all behind them if they defend well here in the two-minute drill. Excellent coverage right there to force the incompletion. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Purdy to throw. And that is incomplete, stopping the clock with five seconds to go. One final shot now. I'm not even sure he can get it to the end zone, though, from this distance. That's going to take as much arm as he has, and you actually have to plan for the contingency. Maybe you're playing a tip. Try and get someone down who can tip it up and keep it for your own team and try and get to the end zone that way. Purdy with one final shot here. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. So it's a victory here for the New York Jets. And this one wasn't easy. You had an East Coast team, Charles, going west, playing a night game, but somehow they were able to get the job done. Yeah, and when you talk about playing a night game, they're closer to being sleepy because of East Coast time with their bodies when you're kicking off to play the game. So that's a real big accomplishment for them to get that done. The flip side, too, is traveling home in the 